This week's Know Your Cash Word of the Week is inflation. My name is Arabi Lekumete, and the buck stops here. When I was growing up, my mother would always tell me that she couldn't afford something because, oh, it just costs too much money. And the reason why we couldn't afford things in general was because of inflation. But what is inflation? What, what does it actually mean? The definition is the rise in the price of goods and services. Now, if that explanation is not clear, we're basically saying the increase in prices. So every day when goods increase in terms of price, when bread used to cost 10 Rand, now it costs 12 Rand, there's an actual increase in that price. And that increase is called inflation. Now, that inflation is measured as a percent. So what do I mean by that? If something grows by two rand, we won't say inflation is two rand. We say that inflation is instead something like 20%. In this case, it would probably be around 16% or so. So that is how we measure inflation. But here's the critical and important part. The inflation rate that you find journalists quoting every single month comes from a basket of goods and services. What does that mean? We have a company called Statistics South Africa. They're a research uh, and, and, uh, and yeah, they're essentially a research body that gives you information, primarily historical, that details and gives an understanding of what it is that prices look like. So they have a CPI index every single month, meaning how much did prices increase by every month compared to the month before. So, as I said, they make this index as a basket of goods or from a basket of goods and services. Where are and what are in those baskets? Well, it's a whole range. And if you were to look at the uh, Stats SA uh, website, you would actually be able to see a list of those goods every single month. Things like food are included. Even things like transportation is included in there. Fuel, energy costs in general. Remember that energy isn't necessarily just fuel, but also electricity costs. There's also water, uh, which is included in there as well. Things in your food basket are also included. So whether it be fruits and vegetables, right down to pasta and margarine, all of those aspects are included in this basket, as we call it and get an average rate or an aggregate rate, should I say, uh, across the board. So you put all of the increases of all those items together and you get an absolute rate. For now, South Africa's inflation rate hovers at around 4.5%. Why is that so significant? Because it just means that prices this month compared to last year in the same month increased by 4.5 percent here's the kicker though that inflation rate can be lowered or raised with the help they're not the only ones but with the help of the south african reserve bank what do they do well they can decide every two months whether to increase interest rates the rate at which you and I borrow from the bank, or they can decrease the very same interest rate. If they increase interest rates, then it means that your debt, whether it be credit card debt, whether it be household debt, whether it be your car debt, you have to pay more, unfortunately, to pay off those items. If you're paying off those items and it's costing you more to do that, it means that you have less money to pay for other goods. That means you have less demand for other goods and services. If you have less demand, then prices don't increase as much. So it means that inflation comes down. So that is why the South African Reserve Bank would increase or decrease the interest rates, the rate at which you and I borrow in order to help the inflation rate because their primary mandate or their, their main aim is to ensure that South Africa's currency and markets are stable. 
So what they've decided is that they will have a rate at which, sort of a, a range at which they would like inflation to trade between. And that range is between 3% and 6% at the most. They've now become extremely uncomfortable with inflation being closer to 6% and would rather have it at the middle of that 3 to 6% range, which happens to be 4.5%. And if it currently sits at 4.5%, it means that they have room, they have the ability to free up more money in order for you and I to afford more things, and therefore pushing up inflation, which means at a later stage, who knows, inflation may begin to drop again. But ultimately, if you remember nothing else, inflation is the rise in the price of goods and services. Know Your Cash is supported by the South African Insurance Association.